Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli out here in the shop with a good buddy of mine, JK, Justin Kimball from the Bash University. We're going to be talking to you today about a fluke modification that's unbelievable. Dude, you know I love flukes. Yeah, yeah. You love flukes, but there's a lot of times when they're short striking, right? Oh, uh, yeah. A Texas rig fluke is not working. Um, some of the other modifications not getting them. You've got a system, and I've seen it firsthand, that you use to catch fluke fish that aren't eating the bait right. That's right. And it's called? It's the pop rivet trick. The pop yeah. rivet trick with the fluke. And here's one that's already rigged. And when those fish, largemouth, spotted bass, and especially smallmouth, when you're just swiping at the bait, this thing is going to catch them. Um, it's an amazing trick. Look at this slides through look at that slides through and provides two points two points to catch them smallmouth justin the one cool thing about this is this isn't a modification that you have to be a genius to do mm -mm. this is all normal stuff uh household stuff involving a, a fluke bait so yeah. so start with start with the ingredients here we've got uh, any flukes good. Uh, I'm a big fan of the uh, Berkeley Power Bait Power Jerk Shad. So a standard four to six inch fluke. This is a five inch. And it helps to have one with a slot. So like that has a slot. Okay. So preferably one with the slot, the little hook hider slot. And a lot of them have that. Um, next piece is, and this is amazing, Justin, because this is, what is this? This is just pop rivets. It's pop rivets. Regular pop rivets. But the, the type of pop rivet is important. You want to talk a little bit about that? All right. So these are basic these are basic rivets. You can get these at Lowe's, Home Depot, doesn't matter. Right. But you like a particular kind of rivet. Yeah, I, I go with steel over aluminum because if I'm if I'm throwing it weightless, which is often the case with this technique, um, unless I add a swivel for weight or something. Yeah. I I want the heavier one. So steel is is heavier than aluminum. So yeah. Even if it's just a fraction, you know, yep. with fishing, that's that's a lot. Yeah, and then so on, I, I go with that. And then on sizes, you're picking the long. The long, the longest one of long these, these three. So it's it's it looks like that. Yeah. Um, I want something to to go almost the length from the nose to the to the pocket there, right right where the uh, I guess the throat of the the fluke. Yeah. So where that slot begins. Okay. All right. So we've got a rivet, and then what's What's the next step here? I know there's, uh, we've got, if, you, if you're familiar with rivets, that normally goes in a rivet gun, yep. but we don't need the gun here. No, you just need to grab your pliers. Okay. Yep. So you take your pliers and you grab the rivet right here. Yep. And then you rotate around yep. just like this and then you pop it out like that. You're going to have to hit it kind of hard on a hard yep. surface. So you're but you're not done with what I call the needle. I don't know really what the right word is, but... Yes. This, this is your thread. Okay. So you you don't need to just get rid of all these. Yeah. Um, this is this is the key piece, but you still need this to create. Still going to use that to mm -hmm. help thread it through. Okay. So there's our fluke. Mm -hmm. There's our fluke style bait. And so what I want to do is I want to imagine I don't go straight. I want there to be kind of a subtle diagonal um, space right. here. This hollow space that you're going to put the yep. the rivet in. So. I kind of line that up to the center, and I kind of start just above the uh, the bottom yep. of the nose, and I push it up, and I'm trying to keep it straight, and come out right where you think the line should go in, right up there in the center of the nose, yep. and bring it all the way through. Right, so you're using that to actually create mm -hmm. the hole. And then I'm going to do it one more time. So you do it twice to really, I, I just, really groove out confidence. that plastic. Mm -hmm. Yep, channel that plastic out. See how some plastic already came yep. off there? Yep, you can tell little bits of plastic. So mm -hmm. you've channelized the nose exactly. of that plastic. Yep. So you'll see videos that tell you to come in this way. I mean, I, I've seen one like that. It's the wrong way. Come in from the bottom mm -hmm. out toward the nose. Yep. Right. You want the plate the plate of the rivet facing the slot facing the slot so that's where i want my split ring and hook to butt up yep. against yep so i'm going to push it push it in and just keep it in the 
channel that you just yeah, created. Yeah, you, you can feel it going yeah. into that into that groove a little just bit. Just go, go slow because it's steel, so you might start going a different direction than straight, and you want to yeah. make sure it's straight. So now you're there. Now I, I pick the needle back up, and I go through... See it already. Wow! It already got more plastic out. So now it you won't go all the way through, but I push it out right there. Yep. And then I come in this way, one more time. You're making sure all that plastic is out of that channel. Yep. Yep. Look at that. And more, just Look a little bit more. Now it's clean. Now you can take some fluorocarbon and go right through the nose. Yep. See that that hole's created. Yep. Okay, so here it goes. So you've got the fluke channelized, mm -hmm. and now talking about the hook. Instead of a single hook, we're using a treble. Using this is a treble. This is a key part of the concept. So um, a number four, a number three. I have been treble. going with a number four. I think you can get away with a number three as well. But it's all about action too. The moment you, yeah, play around with it. If you if you feel like you need more yeah. weight, I mean you can you can go up. But the reason I like I don't like going up to like a number two or something. Yeah, is because this has been a trick. Now it's. Worked great on largemouth, so don't let me steer you wrong, but it's great with schooling smallmouth and schooling spots. Anytime the fish are feeding up. Yeah. So a lot of times, yeah, they're swiping at your bait. Yeah. But they're coming up under, so you got those two hooks underneath now. Yeah. So they're stuck. You're, you hardly even set the hook. You just right. jack them and go. So that smaller hook. Yeah. A lot of times, as you, you probably the one oh, who yeah. teach me this. That number six sometimes is a better than a number yeah. four and so on. So I've been going with a number four just because I mean, it that, those spots. That's a moment. four right there. And that little treble almost disappears mm -hmm. into the bait, which is unbelievable. And then, of course, a split ring. And we're using, I believe that's a number six size split ring. And then basically all we're going to do, the next step, Justin, is thread that line. And we'll use the one that's already rigged. Mm -hmm. We're threading that line through the rivet, yep. we're tying on our treble with the split ring, and just like a modification we do on a lot of swim baits, we want to bury that single hook in the body to where when we pull on it, there's what you're left with. Mm -hmm. Look at that. A treble hook stinger with two of the points sticking down and one that's in the body of the bait. Now, I know a lot of people are looking at this right now and they're saying, oh my God, this is going to work. Mm -hmm. But does it affect the action of the bait? Does this affect the action of the bait whatsoever? Not at all. Not at all. It, so, might, it might actually Im improve it. Wow. Now, if you're, if you're skipping docks and throwing around heavy cover, this is not the So this is more of there. a sparse cover, open water. Well, you might pull fish out of heavy cover with it. You just got to... You know, yep. throw it up to the outside or over the top of cover or something like that. Yep. I'm not saying just throw it in open water. Right. But it's it's they're gonna attack this bait. Yep. In open water that might be near something. Yeah. So. And here's the other thing I love about this modification. Not only are you gonna get more fish stuck, you're gonna land more because when you hook that fish, look, just like a lot of other heavier lures, that lure is gonna pull away from that hook, and when you get that weight away from the fish and that fish is thrashing and jumping all you're left with is that number three or number four treble on a split mm -hmm. ring i love that fact to it now one other thing justin let's talk about hook types because a regular hook is treble hook is great yep. but there are some options right and you've yep. played with this is the vmc bladed treble and a size four and also a number four treble with a feather on it which are also some good options in certain situations yeah. More flash, more breathability. Um, what would you say, how, hard, how high is your ratio improved when they're short striking fish with this technique? Okay, so I'll give you an example of a, a team tournament me and my team partner um, won a couple summers ago. They're schooling fish, and I threw out there with an offset hook like normal. And I've yep. known about this trick, and I've used it, yep. but uh, I just was going fast, and I went one for five. I got five bites on five casts, so the bait was right. They're coming up. I only got one of them hooked, and he made the comment. My partner Matt Henry goes, "Hey, dude, why don't you tie on the treble real quick?" Yeah. I tie on the treble, and I go one, two, three, four, five, and he goes, "Can you tie me up one like that?" So I got us both going on, and then he proceeded to wax it. Right. Um, but uh, I don't think we lost one. Wow. I think the hookup ratio was like 
probably nine out of every 10 bites got hooked up wow. and got in the boat. That's unbelievable. Um, listen, try this. If you're having trouble hooking fluke fish, if you're sparse cover to open water and you have fish just smacking at it, head butting it, try this little rivet trick and you're going to catch more. You heard it from Justin. Uh, real easy components, stuff you can get at your local hardware store, uh, slit in the belly, uh, really quality number four, number three treble hook, and you're going to be all set. Justin, thank you for that yeah, tip. Absolutely. I Thanks appreciate it. There you have it. The rivet trick on flukes with Justin out here in the shop.